welcome back to my channel today we're going to make appam uh, this is a south indian speciality especially from kerala uh, it's eaten with either potato or vegetable stew which i'll be adding in my next video or if you're a non-vegetarian you can have a, a chicken or a mutton stew so to start the process I'm, i have here two cup of uh, rice flour or you can actually soak the rice and grind it into a fine paste. I'm going to also grind in half a cup of fresh coconut with half a cup of coconut water. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just add in yeast. I'm making it without yeast. So we're just going to add in half a cup of coconut with half a cup of coconut water, grind into fine paste. I'm going to mix that. Also, I'm going to add in grinded cooked rice half a cup of cooked rice i'm going to grind it with a little water and i'm going to pour it in this mix it well and then we are going to leave it overnight before we make the appams tomorrow over here i'm adding a store-bought coconut water since i don't get fresh coconut water here okay, unless i buy a whole coconut and cut it so i'm going to add the whole can i mean here this is uh, 330 ml, so I've used the entire for three cups of rice flour. I have here coconut. To this, I'm going to have, um, add in half a cup of um, cooked rice, and I'm going to grind it into a fine paste. Okay, let's add in the mixture. That's a coconut and cooked rice mix mixture. To this, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of sugar. I have mixed the batter well, so you can see the consistency. It's not very thick, neither it's very not very thin. So we're going to ferment this for um, eight hours. And after it's fermented well, tomorrow we'll be making the appam. Hope you like this video. Please comment and subscribe my channel. Okay, I have the appam pan. On, low, uh, on medium heat, I'm going to reduce the heat, mix the batter well, and I'm going to add salt. I've added half a teaspoon of salt first. Just check the salt if it's enough. There was add a little more. Let's pour in the batter. Now, hold it up and down, up and down, and turn it. And on medium low heat, we're going to put a lid over it and cook. For this appam, we are not going to turn it if it's an appam chutti. And uh, even if you do it on the dosa pan, you don't turn it. You just put a lid over it. So let's cook this for like three minutes. So I've taken out the lid now. You can see the appam. See? So the next time you pour your batter, just take a wet paper towel or paper, uh, sorry, a cloth, just wipe, just brush it around. On low heat, we are going to pour in our mix bath. Let's see the second one. So you can use a spatula or you can just pick it up from here. As you can see, it's cooked. Hope you like this recipe. This uh, appam can be uh, sided with 
stew, vegetable stew for vegetarian. And for non-vegetarian, you can just make a non-vegetarian uh, stew with chicken or mutton. Hope you like this recipe. Please um, like, comment, and subscribe my recipe, uh, my channel. This um, appam actually sometimes you feel the batter consistency will thicken up, so you need to add a little bit of water in case if it thickens up. Also, we're cooking the appam on low heat, so remember to cook it on very low heat for three minutes. Thank you.